I thought I would start the video by taking you to one of my favorite places in Star Citizen. Called the elevator. Right. Voyager Bar. Have you been here? Have you been here at sunset? Pretty fantastic. Yeah, I like the good vibes. I like the music. Also, come over here. It's sunset. This is great. You've not chilled over here at sunset. Oh, man. You are missing out. Grab this seat right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. <laughs> so I wanted to have a chat about Star Citizen and PvP. What does that mean? What is it? What's going on? Let me turn the music down here. And let's let's have a chat about it. And I thought this would be a good view to be able to do that. So I had an encounter on a server, and it got into actually a pretty heated debate. So the Xeno event was taking place, and out of nowhere, this person shows up. PvP on their mind. Now, if you've not done the Xeno event, you're talking dozens and dozens and dozens of ships. It's just mass chaos. Huge battle. It's awesome. Think Star Wars, right? Just, oh yeah. It's good stuff. So you go out to the event and there is all this craziness. And you have people that take advantage of that i i would say take advantage of that i think that's why they're there that's a fair statement so here's here's where the rub is right with pvp in star citizen it's exactly like sea of thieves right pve and pvp is always on there is no reason you uh mechanically can't pvp if you want to do PvP at Jump Town, if you want to do PvP at Siege of Orson, if you want to do PvP at Xeno, if you want to do PvP, if you want to pull people out of warp uh, or quantum and hopefully get a transporter, they're transporting cargo and destroy them, and take their car. All of that is totally doable. And it's a mechanic. The the developers have made it the same way. Same thing in Sea of Thieves. You can PvP anytime you want. You can go and look for people and have at it. I have no issues with PvP in general. Absolutely. I actually am really good friends now with somebody that pulled me. <laughs> I was taking Quantanium, not Quantanium. Yeah, Quantanium to sell. And I got pulled out of warp. And him and his friends, they're like a wolf pack, man. I, they, they ate me alive and I lost my cargo. Uh, and I wasn't actually salty. I was like, ah, you know, it's you have to have the attitude of easy come and easy go in this game. Otherwise, you can get pretty wrapped around the axle. Well, I got a little heated in this debate yesterday because at the Xeno event, somebody was taking advantage. Uh, I got I got soft death, right? Like your ship doesn't blow up, so you get destroyed but you don't die you just sit there in space and it was upsetting to me because you're kind of like a vulture right you're coming in and you're not playing the game kind of in good faith there's a spirit of the event i equated it to the same thing as siege of orson it's a pve event where everybody's kind of loading up on the trams going to do it and then somebody decides to shoot people in the back. You can PvP at any time. Where I would say that's not cool. You technically, you, are you doing anything that the game mechanically is not allowing you to? Are you cheating in that way? No. Is there a an argument to be made that it's not cool of course absolutely and i would say the same thing in the xeno event 
So what you have are people, you can't concentrate on all of these NPC ships and everybody working together because you have people coming out in their very tricked out PvP ships and just mowing people down and just melting your shields and, and killing you. And I think that is very, very uncool. It is a move that is good if you're a streamer, right? Like, oh, I just want to go in the action, I'm going to kill people, and people are bloodthirsty and want to see that happen. Again, you can do it. However, if you're going to do that, you're destroying people like me that want to go in and have a good time, and other people like me, you might be one of them listening to this, that want to go and do the Xeno threat and have a great time. Instead of you having to always watch your back, somebody coming in and, and PvPing you when, you know, the NPCs are melting your shields and, and all of a sudden you're just getting smoked by somebody taking advantage of that. So I'm interested to learn what you have to say in the comments. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think about PvP. Is it allowed? Is it mechanics? Are the mechanics there for it? Absolutely. Do you think it's in the spirit of the game? To do something like that, the people that I was against were very adamant that PvP anytime, and they would say things to me. They automatically assumed, right, that I complain. They don't know me, right? But they assumed that I would complain about PvP at Jump Town. This is, you know, you can't PvP, I'm no good, blah, blah, blah. I can hold my own. I'm not the greatest at PvP, but I do enjoy it. And I think it should be in the game, and it's one of the big draws of the game. But the penalty for dying, right? Ugh, to re-get everything, get your ship. Like, there's a lot of uh, work that goes into just, okay, my butt's in the pilot seat. I'm taking off from the hangar now. So I just wanted to make a quick video about this subject and this topic. Because my argument is, you're going to have people just not do the events if somebody goes in now. If you know that somebody's PvPing and you mount up and you go and looking for absolutely. But again, I view it a lot exactly like Siege of Orson. You're all going there to do an event. Can you technically shoot people and, and, and do that type of gameplay? Yes. Is it the right thing to do? I would say no. Some of you will agree. Some of you will disagree. I look forward to reading your comments below. We'll catch you again real soon. Game Race T out.